Namaste. Welcome to my channel, Safiya Aum Yoga. This sequence I made for beginners who just started to practice yoga because a lot of my friends, even my parents, they tell me like, Safiya, and you need to make some very easy yoga video for everyone who can start. It could be your first practice. I'll be <laughs> very proud if it's gonna be so. Let's start. In the sitting position, in a hero pose, you're sitting on your heels, feet together. Maybe you cross your legs and put a pillow, blanket underneath your hips. A few breaths, long, deep. And remember, yoga is not about flexibility, about arm balances, handstand. It's about mindfulness, about your peace, peace of your soul, gratitude, acceptance, no expectations, just be here and now with me, palms to your chest. Make a short intention for this practice, some affirmation and maybe your goal. I love to dedicate my practice to the all living beings, creatures. Take your time. And slowly start to rotate your head, small circles, and then gently change direction. Remember to breathe. Breathe is the most important in your practice, especially if you will start to practice vinyasa afterwards, high pace yoga. It's all about your breathing. Don't think about posture, how you do it, correct or no. Just focus on your breath, okay? From here, inhale, open your heart center. With the exhalation, round your spine, you can interlace your fingers. Inhale, reach your arms over your head. And with the exhalation, interlace fingers behind your back, roll your shoulders away from the ears. One more time, inhale, arms up. Exhale, push, push your arms forward. Inhale, reach them up. And with the exhalation, arms behind your back. Last time, inhale. Exhale, inhale, arms up, exhale, fingers behind your back, beautiful. Now come to the tabletop position, it's the best start to warm up your spine, inhale, arch your back, drop your belly, look up or keep your eyes closed. I like to keep my eyes closed during practice. It helped me to come back to my inner source of life. <laughs> With the exhalation, press in your hands around your spine, curl tailbone, belly in, relax your head. <laughs> Maybe you will shake your head. We keep a lot of tension in the upper body, in the shoulders. Breath in, breath out. Mm -hmm. Now bring your fingers facing your kneecaps. Get coveration to warm up the wrist. Inhale, exhale, slightly push your hips towards your heels. Your pace, your practice. If you need more time, maybe you enjoy some posture sometimes i want to stay in some asana for a longer time you can start the video feel free mm -hmm. 
Now bring your palms back. Inhale, left leg up, right arm forward. With the exhalation, do your crunch. Bring your forehead closer to your knee. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Breath in. Breath out. Release. Switch inside. Left arm, right leg go up. Exhale. Ujjayi breathing. You can create sound to the ocean with the exhalation. You squeeze in your throat and you do this sound. It's like sound of the snake. In Indian culture, snakes are not like represent evil. They're wise. They're very ancient. Now spread your knees, sit on your heels. Child pose, balasana. Stretch your arms to the top of the mat. Melt it into your chest. Maybe some movements here. Inhale, exhale, switch your gazing forward, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog, of course. <laughs> In every yoga practice, I recommend to include this posture. This is like ideal posture for stretching your legs, your upper body, your low back, your pelvic floor muscles, all bodies engaged here. So instead of keeping your heels on the mat, around in your spine like this, bend your knees, Push your chest towards your thighs. Roll shoulders outwards. So this external rotation. So just simply away from the ears and relax your head. Relax your jaw, face muscles. Maybe you'll do inhale through your nose and release inside out. Exhale. You can pedal your feet. Do whatever you want, your practice. I'm just here to guide you, but remember, you should be your own teacher, you should feel where you want to stay, how you want to breathe, it's your own experience, beautiful, inhale and exhale, step through with your right leg, low lunge, Oash for Sanchalanasana, I love Sanskrit names, we practice yoga, it's very traditional, even in the modern culture I try to teach traditional yoga. I think it's beautiful, it's not only fitness, with time it will come for you, this feeling that you're a part of something bigger, you know. It's all about unity of all souls there's something very special in practicing yoga palms on your low back okay <laughs> just a lot of philosophy sorry palms on your low back inhale you can also use yoga blocks and put them underneath your shoulders just keep this alignment knee over your right heel palms underneath your shoulders Breath in, breath out, runner stretch, half split. Call it whatever you want. Next exhale, fold. Keeping your spine straight. Remember, there is no need to go too low. The goal is here. Keeping your hips in one line, spine straight. If you stay in here, it's totally fine. One more breath. Then bend your right knee. Bring your palms inside of your right foot. Lizard pose. So the same here. There are many schools, many teachers 
teaching different styles of lizard, but I will recommend you to keep this. And go 90 degrees to keep your legs straight. If you bring your knee on the mat, it will be more passive stretch. So anyway, do a lizard. I love to do juicy circle nice with my hips, especially in the morning. It feels nice. One more breath. And then step back. High plank, downward facing dog. Plant your knees on the mat, 90 degrees angle, right palm underneath your nose. Inhale, twist to the left. With the exhalation, left shoulder on the mat, right arm stretching forward. Remember to keep your hips over your knees, do not lean to the right. And look up to the sky, to the ceiling. Breathe. And then slowly untwist. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Step through with the left leg, low lunge, left side, breath in and with the exhalation push your hips, keeping your core engaged, protecting your low back, perfect posture for those who want to practice deeper back bends, splits, we're stretching these hip flexors. And you can do it even if you're not warmed up, like me right now in the morning. And just relax your hips, lose them, your body weight, doing all job here. Inhale, and with exhalation, straighten your left leg, fold forward. It's also a perfect yoga sequence for the runners. <laughs> I just realized that it's really nice. It will be nice to stretch your legs like this after some workouts. Leg day if you go to the gym or after running. Now shift your weight forward to lizard pose, straighten your right leg, any variation if you're, you know, you're flexible and you want to experience deeper stretch, you can bring your palms on the mat, you can grab blocks. Breathe in deeply, nice and slow. Try to engage your exhalation and we use every exhalation to go a little bit deeper into the posture. But remember, you should feel comfortable. So many people, they just want to go too deep. Then they stay for three, for five seconds. No, it won't work. So no progress like this. Just nice, comfortable stretch. Bring your left leg back. High plank. Downward facing dog. Let's stay here for five breaths. Now you will notice that your body is more warmed up, more flexible. Inhale with the exhalation. Bring your belly in. Knees 90 degrees angle on the mat. Left palm underneath your nose with the inhalation. Twist to the right. Exhale. Go low. Stretch your left arm forward. 
and look up. Inhalation, pressing your left hand and twist. Lay on your belly. Baby cobra. Four arms parallel to each other. Elbows closer to your rib cage. Feet together. Inhale. Exhale. Press in your feet into your elbows roll shoulders down chin slightly up engaging your legs squeezing your glutes very important in prone poses <sighs> what a beautiful day And release, make a pillow with your palms, place your head down, you can rock your hips from side to side if you want to. Shalabhasana. Interlace fingers behind your back, palms together, squeeze your shoulders in, inhale, lift your chest, then reach your feet up and breathe, smile, don't lose your head, look forward to the bright future, <laughs> inhale, come to your maximum, then release. Press in your hands, child pose for a few breaths. Now slowly. Rise up, sit on your hips, sit in forward fold, Pashimutanasana. inhale, arms over your head, exhale, bend to your feet, you can use yoga belt, the same here, spine straight, you push in your heart center forward, your shoulders backward. And relax this posture for relaxation, remember. No force here. Just come back to your breath. Close your eyes. Notice the sensations in your body. Come to the sitting position, Dandasana. Lay all the way down. Half bridge. Bring your heels closer to your glutes. Feet hip distance apart. Inhale. Bring your hips up. You can also do supportive bridge. For example, you can put a yoga block or maybe just grab your spine with the with your palms. And the goal is here to bring your shoulders more in. Never ever you should feel your neck in this position. So if you feel any pressure to your neck vertebrae, 
you do this pusher not correct you can also make a bind push and push and your hips higher and then slowly release come to the Shavasana, final relaxation pose for, for a few minutes. You can pause this video. I also recommend to do Shavasana after class. It helps the energy flow through your body, from your feet to your head, with no blockages. Then come to the sitting position, keeping your eyes closed, noticing this difference in your body, mind, in your energies before and after the practice. And I hope you, you will continue to practice with me or just whatever you want. Just don't stop. Remember that yoga can change your life in so many ways. Not only your body, your mind, your environment, everything. Bring your palms to the chest. Open your eyes. Namaste. My name is Sophia. I'm a yoga teacher, <laughs> as you noticed. If you're enjoying my videos, please follow me on Instagram. I have a link in my YouTube channel. I also have online Zoom classes. You can find all information in my stories in the Instagram. Stay healthy, stay safe. Practice on Namaste.